Chloe Johnson, and we are here celebrating Park City's new amateur soccer team. This is the highest level of amateur soccer here, and we are so excited to be chatting with some of the players. Let's toss it over to Nick O'Kane. Right now I'm with Diego Silva, left winger of the new semi-professional soccer team here in Park City. Uh, Diego, what's it like being in Park City, uh, knowing that you get to play semi-professional soccer now? Oh, it's amazing, honestly. I, I'm very happy to be here. Um, I believe this is a great city to develop and uh, continue on my, my career. For a lot of people that might not know about this Red Wolves team, uh, you know, what can you let us know? Um, it's a, we have a great group of guys. I think uh, we're going to have uh, an amazing season. And honestly, I think uh, this, this group can make it to the, to the championship. Now, Esteban, tell me a little bit about your own soccer career. How did you start out? How did you come to find out about the Red Wolves? Okay, so I started off in Monterey, Mexico. That's where I'm from. And uh, I signed up my first contract there when I was 13 years old, playing on the, on the third division for Monterey uh, Football Club. And then uh, Patrick, I, I've known him very well. He, he was the assistant coach for the RSL 17. Um, and that's where and he saw me play and he invited me to be part of this fantastic project. And you guys have already started practicing a little bit. How's it going? How's the team kind of vibing together? Oh, it's it's fantastic. I think we have we have a lot of a lot of quality on this team, and uh, I think we're we're just trying to get to know each other and how how we how we play. And how are you thinking about our town of Park City? Oh, I love it. Uh, Park City. It's always a, a very unique city, and everybody wants to come here and, and spend some time. We are here with assistant coach Liam. I've known you for a long time. You've been coaching here in Park City, bringing kids to the big leagues for a long time. Are you excited to be here with the Red Wolves? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's a next level soccer team, high standard, and uh, something our wonderful alpine ski town has needed. And how have practices been going so far? What's the team looking like? We're very good. We've got a roster of 29 uh, with um, a couple more players to add. We're getting college, uh, college players back shortly, so we've got some Division One players and uh, there's a lot of good talent in Salt Lake, so we've, uh, practice has been going really well. I mean, it's every boy's dream uh, since they're a kid to play at the highest level possible, and it's an opportunity for every person in Utah to be able to play for a semi-professional team inaugural year uh, here locally. So, What's that transition been like uh, growing up playing uh, you know, in Southern, or, uh, South Salt Lake and now playing at a much higher level? Uh, yeah, it's a good transition. Uh, I had an opportunity to play out of state as well. Uh, when I was 15 years old, I was able to play at the Portland Timbers Youth Academy. Uh, kind of get that feeling. Uh, but this is definitely a higher level. Uh, you get a lot of players from across the country, from all over the world, and it meshes to create that uh, environment. I started in Uganda, Africa. That's where I grew up and played all my whole life. I moved to uh, Utah when I was when I was 10. Then. I went on to play for a local club, La Roca FC, and then I went on to play for the RSL Academy, and uh, I heard of the Red Wolves because uh, Patrick Randy, the head coach, uh, coached me uh, ODP level, and that's how he invited me to come play. And so, coming from Uganda, how was it like playing in the snow? Are you a big fan? I'm not a big fan. I had to get adjusted to it at the beginning, but it's always a fun experience, enjoying different weather, so it's not bad. And uh, you've been working with Liam. How do you think about Liam? Oh, he's a, he's a fantastic coach. Uh, we always get different perspectives on uh, different coaching levels. They all got great experience, so it, it's always good to hear from different coaches. Yeah, and he knows Park City well. He's been here a long time. What kind of advice has he given you guys about coming together as a team? Uh, we just have to uh, get, get to know each other and gel as a team and really look out for each other. And the chemistry will come as a team. And I think we're doing so far, we're doing so well in training that everything is just coming together. It's a great group of guys, not only on the field, but off the field as well. Uh, from the first day, uh, we've just gelled as a team. Uh, we're still trying to figure some things out. Some people are still coming in, uh, but so far it's been amazing. And for you, what is uh, one of the most exciting things uh, that you can look forward to this season? Uh, playing against Ogden. <laughs> the other semi-professional team in state here. Exactly, and I think it's an opportunity for Utahns uh, to have two teams here in Utah, uh, and obviously we want to stamp our ground a little bit uh, and say that we're here. Spike a good rivalry as well. I think that will get everyone a little bit more excited. Yeah, and we know a lot of guys uh, growing up. There's a lot of Utah guys on that team as well, so uh, from the get-go there's a huge rivalry there. Essentially, it's path to pro is what they call the USL League 2. So it's uh, U23 primarily, but eight overage players. And uh, 
yeah, it's uh, some of these guys will be playing pro, you know, within the next year. And how can the community come together to help you guys support the team? Uh, check out our uh, social media page, uh, Park City Red Wolves, um, on Facebook, same Park City Red Wolves on Instagram. Word's getting out. We had a great time up here at the Bridge Cafe and Grill getting to know some of these future stars all in the USL right here with Park City Red Wolves. Make sure to stay tuned because their season will begin at the end of May.